Okay, we're going to start by putting this assembly together. We're going to start with putting the gears and the cams in, in the back side. We're also going to put the valves in as well and make sure that they follow the cams. And we've got all the parts we need here. So let's start by making a couple of these parts into a rigid set. We're going to go off the screen to pick the rigid set tool and select these two parts and right click to accept and then select these two parts and right click to accept. So now we've got two rigid sets and we can just mate these into place as we need. Let's go ahead and use the assemble tool which is flash fit and we'll click on cylindrical face here, cylindrical face there and the part just snaps into place. Let's do it over here as well with this part and click on this. Now these parts are vertically not in the position where they need to be but we'll take care of that later. Okay now we'll get the gear and cam part into place and we'll just click on a cylindrical face there, cylindrical face here snaps into place but it's backwards so I go off the screen here and click the flip button and the part flips over. Let's click the face of the gear and a face inside the housing. We'll see later that, that this isn't really a great choice but uh, we'll right click to accept that as it is. And next we want to put together the cam motion. So we'll jump out of flash fit and into the cam mate or relation and uh, the cam relation is going to tell us to click a face on the follower so we'll tilt up the display here click a face on the bottom of the follower and then we need to click a face on the cam itself so we'll click on that and right click to accept and the part just snaps into place let's do it on the other side follower and the cam and right click. Okay, now we'll show that motion a little later on. But let's start putting some other parts in place here. Let's get the crankshaft into place using flash fit again. Just click on a cylindrical face, another cylindrical face. It's backwards, so we flip it over. Next, we're going to put the small gear on the crankshaft and we'll get a cylindrical to cylindrical mate and then a flat face to flat face mate and next we'll just push this into the housing uh, using this face is a bad idea it's not really lining up with the rest of the gears and we're getting a little problem there but uh, we should have used an offset here I'm just going to right click in white space to accept this and now we'll place the piston and the pin and now we'll push the pin through to the flat face. Notice that it's easy to pick these flat faces from pretty far out. You don't have to uh, get all zoomed in to get the right face. If you use some other software packages it can be difficult at times to do that. So. Uh, here we're going to put the rod in place cylindrical face there and cylindrical face here now the assembly looks a little mangled at this point but it will uh, it will get better before it's all over so we're just using flash fit to make a bunch of these concentric mates now with this one we're going to try to get the pin, the hole for that part and the hole for this one lined up and notice that flips the rest of the assembly over so it looks better. We still have some difficulties here with interferences which we're going to come back later and, uh, and work on. Uh, we benefit probably from some color differentiation between our parts but uh, let's just get a flat face on that part and a flat face over here and uh, put that where it belongs. Okay, good. Now we can test the motion 
of the piston and just make sure that it's working the way it should. So let's get the drag component tool and pick on the crankshaft and set it all in motion. Okay, so that, that works out well enough. But you'll notice that it didn't turn the gears in the back. So we'll have to remedy that. Let's make a gear relation between the small gear and the large one. And to do this, we select a cylindrical face on the first gear. And one of these smaller faces in between the teeth should work out. And we'll select an identical face on the other gear. Okay, and then off the screen we're setting the ratio between the parts, which is in this case 2 to 1, and we accept that result. Okay, so now we're going to test the motion again with the uh, drag component. And when we do this, we notice that the small gear is slipping on the crankshaft. So what we haven't done here is put, put a little keyway in here or something, but uh, uh, in CAD, what, the way we achieve that is use the rigid set that we've used before to create a rigid set between the crankshaft and the small gear. Now using drag component, we can set the whole thing in motion, and you notice the large gear works along with the small gear. The piston is working, and if you look in the background carefully, uh, here you'll be able to see it more easily. Uh, we set the mechanism in motion, and you'll be able to see the valves moving up and down. Okay. So that's all that motion is uh, has been put together pretty quickly using mostly flash fit in solid edge, but a few extra mates as well. Again, most of these mates came over in the migration, but not all of them.